Okay, let's get straight into this. So the idea was provided by at Steph by Gaslight on Twitter, and the template and everything was done by fellow YouTuber and friend Bluey Productions. I'll link both of them in the description. Check them out. Okay, cool. So in this hypothetical universe, I am working for Hasbro and Battle for the Grid, the Power Rangers fighting game, has been greenlit a sequel. And I, and that's just a hypothetical by the way, don't get too excited, and I am put in charge of picking and choosing who gets in the 20 character base roster. Now I'm going to set myself some rules here and say that there, this game needs to sell, right? That's the big thing. This game, I'm looking at this from a kind of a marketing person and also a Power Rangers fan. So the game needs to sell. It isn't just a list of my 20 favorite Power Rangers characters or anything like that. This is a game that will use these characters in advertising and get people to want to play. So it's going to be a balance between casual characters, fan favorites, maybe some obscure characters that need more love, that kind of thing, right? And there's going to be a little bit of variety, although we'll get to that as we get to it, right? So first of all, our two big ones. There are kind of two big sections in the middle, and I like that because those will be our two characters the game is marketed around. So these will be box art characters. These will be the ones that are heaviest in the marketing. And number one of two is going to be Power Rangers Dino Fury Red Ranger. He doesn't have a civilian name yet or anything, but that's fine because this game's gonna launch to tie in with Parent of Dino Fury, right? And so why not advertise and market the newest series? It makes a bit too much sense. And in that regard, the storyline for this game, not that I have one particularly, it's gonna tie into kind of spin off of Power Rangers Dino Fury and tie directly into those characters rather than being an adaptation of the recent comic like the first Battle for the Grid was. Because, you know, it's too obvious. In fact, I'm kind of mad that the previous Battle for the Grid game didn't tie into the currently airing series. So, you you know, you gotta, you, you gotta have the most recent protagonists. And speaking of obvious, our second of the big two characters, it's gonna be Tommy Oliver, Hadoi. Now, of course, which version of Tommy Oliver did I go for? Well, if you're gonna use Tommy Oliver for the brand recognition and everything, you may as well use the most recognizable version of him, the MMPR Green Ranger. The hope is that he is the casual magnet. Anyone who is even vaguely interested in Power Rangers We'll see him and go, ooh, I like him, I recognize him, I want to play this game. So just with those two characters alone, you've already got new fans and kids who are watching the show as it airs, and you've got the people who don't even really know what Power Rangers is still recognizing a character and wanting to play as them. Yes, I could have went for the White Ranger instead of the green one, but I like the green one's suit more, and he's more iconic and recognizable, so for the sake of marketing, it works better. These next few are basically just covering all of our bases. So we're just covering the things that need to be covered. So for example, next we have 2017 Blue Ranger Billy. Uh, basically because I didn't want the 2017 movie to be left out. Uh, the 2017 Blue Ranger was already included in Battle for the Grid 1, but this time it's Billy rather than whatever nameless character they used for the 2017 Blue Ranger because B Billy's a recognizable character people liked. He was the best character of that movie and people want to play as him. The previous one, had like the Blue Ranger be this kind of like unnamed prequel Blue Ranger character and I didn't see the point in that just use Billy right so next it's my favorite series so you gotta include it RPM Black now RPM is my favorite series so it has the inclusion because of that like obviously we want this to be marketable but I'm gonna include my favorites anyway right but also RPM is a fan favorite series anyway and the Black Ranger is the protagonist for that series and it's not often we get a Power Ranger series where the protagonist isn't the Red Ranger so it's pretty obvious con inclusion is our Black Ranger right which Black Ranger are we gonna put in this game the one that's the protagonist of his own series okay that makes sense and RPM is a great series anyway so it works speaking of uh, I guess protagonists that aren't the red. You could argue Wes is the protagonist of his own series, totally. But to me, the only ranger that truly matters in Time Force is Jen. And that's why we're going for Time Force Pink. Because, yeah, she's good. In fact, she only just got added to Battle of the Grid 1. So, you know, kind of self-explanatory. 
Another thing that's important here to mention is that this is Hasbro's first Power Rangers game proper. The previous one, Battle for the Grid, started development when Saban still owned the studio, whereas Battle for the Grid 2, which will presumably have a different name than just Battle for the Grid 2, but we haven't figured that out yet. And it hasn't even been greenlit yet. Again, hypothetical. But this is Hasbro's Power Rangers game, which is why we are including Beast Morphers Gold Nate. Because Beast Morphers is a new series, it's the one kids are familiar with, and Nate's my favorite character from it, and he's got a really cool looking suit. What more could you ask, right? I think it's a great character, I think it's a fun character, he, he's a nerd rather than a brawler, just like Billy. I think it works. And in fact, we're actually going to go one further. This is Hasbro's Power Rangers fighting game. This game is going to be appealing to new audiences, it's going to be ushering the new generation of Power Rangers gotta have a little bit of pandering with Tommy in there but for the most part the thing that's really important is pushing forward and carving out a new image and appealing to those new fans so not only are we just going to have Beast Morphers Gold but we're going to go one step further and have Beast Morphers Silver as well yes Silver's the one I went for because Steel is cool Steel is a great character, and out of a lot of the adult fans of Power Rangers, Steel seems to be a lot of people's favorite character, um, at least from the recent series. Steel's a great comic relief character, and he works hand-in-hand -hand with Nate, and you can't include one without having the other, basically, especially considering the Battle for the Grid was a team-based game where you'd be playing as multiple different Rangers and switching between them, and so it seems like a fairly obvious tag team to go with. I originally wanted to give them one slot to share between each other, but I did think that might be a bit unfair, like making characters share slots and stuff. I do want to stick to the 20 character limit, so I ended up giving up another space for him, but it's fine because this is Hasbro's pairing just fighting games so we are going to be leaning heavily on Hasbro stuff and just so that the comic nerds are happy yes Lord Dracon's there too again doesn't need too much self-explanatory stuff because one it's Tommy he'll sell the game fine because he's Tommy and second of all yeah comic fans they're a pretty big thing in Power Rangers so why not keep Lord Dracon he was fine in the previous Battle of the Grid and he'll be fine here too two Tommies is the limit though no more than that thanks next we're going for Lightspeed Rescue Red because he's my favorite, <laughs> well he's one of my favorites at least, uh, I love him, he's great, um, and we want more of that uh, Saban era representation, that's the very first era of Power Rangers, and, and Lightspeed Rescue Red is a really great character, um, I really like him, and also he would have slightly different gameplay from a lot of the others in my opinion, just because he'd be using that like V lance thing, which is really cool, rather than just the generic like sword weapon, so that's that. I, I don't know, I just really like his suit, honestly. Then you have Jungle Fury Purple RJ. Uh, once again, he only just got added to Battle for the Grid recently, and he was a perfect pick. Disney era is great, RJ is one of the best rangers from the Disney era. Jungle Fury is a fairly underrated series and needs more representation, so represent it, basically. Then you have SBD Shadow Ranger. Basically, yeah, if you'll notice from the past few picks of mine, this is just me admitting that the first Battle for the Grid has a pretty good roster, so I'm just going to steal a lot of their characters. Doggy Kruger is a great character. He stays in. Next is the, mo the one I'm most unsure of. I wanted to have an in-space representative, but I didn't know who to choose, and so I just went for in-space silver. Feel free to change this with whichever in-space character you like most, but I went for silver just because I really like his suit. Next, we still need to appeal more to kids who have recently started growing up with Power Rangers, and so I'm gone with Dino Charge Blue. This is a very close one between Dino Charge uh, Black and Blue, because Black is my personal favorite, but I do know that Blue is the fan favorite character of that series, so sticking to the marketing buzz, gotta keep in Dino Charge Blue. Uh, and you'll notice the image I used for him is the cockpit mode, because for any character who does have a cockpit mode, that'll be a separate like skin or alternate outfit for them because this is a fighting game, right? So you gotta do that. Uh, next we have Dino Thunder White because Dino Thunder, again, fan favorite series. Everyone loves Dino Thunder. It's a lot of people's favorite. It's the Disney era and the Disney era is great. It needs more representation. And I went for the White Ranger because he has the coolest suit. He's one of the most memorable rangers from that series. Uh, and yeah, I like him. Keep him in. See, a lot of these uh, explanations and stuff, they aren't actually all too in-depth or anything. They're just me going, yep, this character fits, this character fits, this character fits. 
Speaking of another character that fits, and finally, I can't believe it took Battle for the Grid 1 to only just get this character, but Lauren Sheba, you know, the, the only female Red Ranger, or at least the only one that matters. I don't care about the comics that much, honestly. Lauren Sheba's great. Gotta have her. She's good. Samurai is, is one of the best looking series, stylistically, it has amazing suits. I love the focus on the sword fighting and everything. And Lauren Sheba is a genuinely great and kind of revolutionary character. And I wish they'd... And, and the stuff they did do with her in the comics was good too. So Lauren Sheba, any chance I get to put her in more Power Ranger stuff, she's getting put in more Power Ranger stuff. So there's Lauren Sheba. The last of our Red Rangers, by the way. And now for a bit of a surprise. These last few, there's a couple of safe picks, don't get me wrong, but these last few are pretty fun. So this is a pretty big twist, a big surprise. This is Hasbro's Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Tour. And we got to market this as the new step forward for Power Rangers, as the thing the kids all actually care about, making it relevant. And so we're going for Dino Fury Green. Yep, bit of a surprise actually. Why green? He was my favorite in the Sentai, basically. Uh, I would have been fine with it being literally any other Dino Fury ran Ranger. Uh, I would have put gold, but I feel like it, it was a bit too soon to be gold. I wanted this game to release like day in day with the airing of the first episode of Dino Fury. Not that that's necessarily possible, but in this hypothetical, fine. Yeah, sure. In this hypothetical, it's possible. And so Dino Fury, green, right? He's again... Any Dino Fury Ranger other than the Red Ranger works here. I just chose Green because I like him the most and because the Sentai had a fairly big uh, story arc at the beginning focusing heavily on the Green and Black Ranger. So those two made more sense to me. So that's that. This is another safe pick. This is just me going, yep, Battle for the Grid made the right decisions. And that decision is to Mega Force Yellow. If you're going to include any Mega Force character, she's the one to include. Not much else to say about her other than that, she's already in Battle for the Grid, so you already know how she'd work. Next is Lord Zed, because I realised that we need more villains. We only really have Dracon so far, and maybe Dino Thunder <laughs> Yellow, depending on how you count that. Um, and so I wanted Lord Zed because, one, he is recognisable, he's iconic. There's that Mighty Morphin push out of the way. And that is the last of the Mighty Morphin stuff, don't worry. But also his actor, Robert Axelrod, recently passed away and that made me sad. So we gotta still make sure his legacy lives on. So there's the heartfelt reason that I picked him and he just looks cool. So these last two, these last two are fun. These last two, uh, I so this template's been going around Twitter a lot and I've been looking at other people's answers and I have not seen any of these two used and that makes me very, very happy. Because these two are the fun ones. These, these are the ones that... The, these two are the reason I basically made this into a video. First off, out of the two that are the best ever, and, and warranted this being a video rather than just a tweet, this is the Hasbro era. This is the new era of Power Rangers. And I just mentioned that we needed more villains. So who do we go for? We go for Geisorg. Duh! Obviously, Geisorg's great. How would that fit with the whole releasing the game on the same day the first episode of, the, uh, of Dino Fury releases? Uh, don't think about it too hard. But Geisorg needs to be in the game or whatever the American version of Geisorg ends up being. It's a no-brainer. He's really cool. He's got a giant shield which could make for a more kind of slow, methodical sort of playstyle rather than a lot of the other rangers who will be fairly speed oriented. And, and so having that big shield could really work with gameplay stuff. And he's one of the coolest looking suit designs we've literally ever had in the entire franchise. So Dicelog, obvious pick. And duh, he'd get people to play this game, right? And the last one. The last one. Ooh. The last one is the most fan service I get. The last one is the most improbable I get to. But we're just going to assume for the last character, we are going for Masked Rider. Come on. Come on. Y you knew I couldn't resist. One of the biggest things with fighting games, right, is the idea that they have crossovers and the idea that the last character in a roster or even just DLC characters will be some kind of crossover event. And, well, if you're going to have a crossover in this Power Rangers fighting game, who better to have than Saban's Masked Rider? Can we get the rights for him? 
I don't know. If we can't get the rights for him, then put one of the Ninja Turtles in there because we definitely can get the rights to Ninja Turtles since they're Nickelodeon and Power Rangers are still at Nickelodeon here. So just get any of the Ninja Turtles because uh, in space crossover, basically. So if we can't get Saban's Masked Rider, then whatever. And basically, you know, everyone really, like, really wants to have more car rider representation in the West. This would be our chance of getting that. So yeah, those are my 20 picks for the base roster. Would we get DLC in the future? I don't know. I don't really know if I'm going to be returning back to this idea or concept or anything. It depends on how well this video does and how many more ideas I have. But that's my roster. It's a bit of everything. I know, you know, 20 characters, it's not enough to fit absolutely every character. Hell, it's not even enough to include one character from each series. So I kind of had to pick and choose my battle. And the main mentality I went in with this was it is Hasbro's Power Rangers. So we're putting Hasbro first and foremost. We are very much going, this is the future of Power Rangers. And yes, the future of Power Rangers is going to be very Beast Morphers and Dino Fury focused. And I'm happy with that. Whilst also there being a little bit of Might Mighty Morphin in the comics and that kind of thing in there too. I'm pretty happy with my picks. Uh, let me know who you'd pick. And of course, in the description will also be a link to the template so you can fill it out yourself. So see you later, subscribe if you want to see more, and remember to check out Bluey and Steph Pie Guest like below because if without them, this video wouldn't exist. See ya.